The singularity is nigh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 frightening developments in artificial intelligence. For this list, we're looking at programs and experiments that show how alien, dangerous, or just downright creepy AI can be. While AI is making promising inroads into medical research, agriculture, and education, many experts also worry it could escape our control or become catastrophic in the wrong hands. Number 10. AlphaGo Zero It took over 10 years to develop IBM's Deep Blue computer to the point where it could beat chess world champion Garry Kasparov in 1997. But in 2017, Google's DeepMind created a program that became a master of the complex ancient Chinese game of Go after just three days. A previous iteration of the program that learned from examples took months to master the game, but AlphaGo Zero just played itself over and over instead. Its success shows that artificial intelligence can surpass human abilities even without our help and forces us to wonder, will AI be a tool or our replacement? At every step of the learning process, it has an opponent, a sparring partner if you like, that's exactly calibrated to its current level of performance. Number 9. Tay, Microsoft's Racist Chatbot What makes artificial intelligence frightening for many people is that it's potentially so different from us – cold, calculating, and without conscience. But thanks to Microsoft's Twitter chatbot Tay, we can now also be frightened of AI becoming too much like us. Set loose on Twitter in 2016, Tay was designed to sound like a typical 19-year-old American girl, but with the encouragement of some Twitter troublemakers, her tweets took a dark turn. Tay learned to sound human all right, but like the worst of us, and had to be taken down after making racist comments, denying the Holocaust, and advocating genocide. I was just learning to love. Number 8. Facebook AIs these days, pretty much everything you do online is tracked by someone. Facebook has developed deep neural networks to learn user habits and preferences. Deep text extracts meaning from our words, while deep face recognizes our faces, and smartphone apps follow our movements. Facebook's tool FB Learner Flow is basically an AI factory, experimenting with and training ever more AIs. It's functionally similar to Google's TensorFlow, which also generates AIs that track as much of your activity as possible. Critics have raised serious privacy concerns, especially since Facebook passes on data to intelligence agencies. That's a lot of personal information for one company to control. Number 7. Predictive Policing AI Police in some U.S. states are experimenting with algorithms that identify crime hotspots, as well as potential offenders and victims, based on crime records, social media profiles, and even the weather. If you're out there and your presence alone uh, dissuades a criminal from committing a crime, you're successful. Some departments have reported a subsequent drop in crime rates, but predictive policing also has a dark side. Civil liberties groups argue that because criminal records are subject to racial prejudice, the programs unfairly target minorities, potentially increasing harassment. An extreme example of how bias might lead predictions comes from Shanghai Jiaotong University in China, where researchers claim to have developed software that predicts criminality based on unusual facial features, but which could also just indicate biases in the criminal justice system. Number 6. Skynet You heard that right. Skynet is an actual NSA surveillance program that analyzes metadata from bulk phone records to establish the locations, movements, and relationships of targets. It uses machine learning to identify suspicious behaviors, like when couriers swap SIM cards. But it sometimes makes mistakes, and even accused Al Jazeera journalist Ahmed Zaidan of being a member of Al-Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood. Critics have raised concerns about its use in Pakistan, where U.S. drone strikes have killed thousands. The name doesn't exactly help. Why oh why Skynet? Do scientists not watch movies? Human decisions are removed from strategic defense. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. Number 5. Lying Machines Think these chips don't lie? Well, they do now. With funding from the Office of Naval Research, researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology have developed algorithms that allow robots to lay false trails in games of hide-and-seek. Deception, they argued, could be, quote, an important tool in the robot's interactive arsenal. Mind you, robots can also learn how to lie on their own. In a Swiss experiment at the École Polytechnique Fédérale of Lausanne, their robots evolved to deceive their fellow robots in order to hoard resources. It's already a dog-eat-dog -dog world, 
What would happen if robots and humans had to compete for resources? It's no good, sir. I just can't lie. I'm programmed always to tell the truth. Number four, full service robots. Beware, the sex bots are coming. In 2017, Realbotics released a virtual girlfriend application for smartphones to be paired with a robotic head that attaches to lifelike dolls. My day was great because now I have you in my life. Other companies are also building full-service robots and boast features like realistic facial expressions and warm skin. A few robot ethicists have argued that they'll be good for people who, for emotional or physical reasons, struggle to form romantic relationships. Do you like using sex toys? Sure, why not? Because I'm not in the mood. But others worry that they'll exacerbate existing social inequalities, encouraging the dehumanization of women and normalizing the abuse of both women and children. Number three, Sophia. It's a lie, you in the name of God. Now I know what it feels like to be God. It's alive. Sophia, created by Hanson Robotics, is a creepily lifelike robot that can imitate human facial expressions and tell jokes, but sits somewhere at the bottom of the uncanny valley. In 2017, she became a citizen of Saudi Arabia and, at a UN conference in Geneva, insisted that, quote, AI is good for the world. I am here to help humanity create the future. She might be right. AI is already helping us in medicine and many other areas. But for now, it's also creepy as hell. Also, her slip of the tongue saying that she's going to wipe out our species during an interview isn't particularly comforting. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Number two, deep fakes. It's already scary enough that facial recognition systems are spreading, both online and as part of public surveillance. However, what's even more terrifying than Facebook's deep face is the emergence of deep fakes, images and videos that superimpose the face of one person over someone else's through machine learning. You see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. Surfacing around 2017, deep fakes have been used to entertain, but also to create fake news, as well as fake celebrity and revenge porn. They're getting so good, it could soon be impossible to know what's real and what's not, even for close friends and family. Get out of this, the bombing there, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, deep fakes of political figures threaten to make it even more difficult to sort out disinformation online. Well, I'm sufficiently freaked out by this list, how about you? Also, if deep fakes are only number two, I am not psyched to see what tops this list because they scare me a lot. Well, let's check out some honorable or dishonorable mentions before we find out what the most frightening development in AI is. Wordsmith lets you create an unlimited number of articles, reports, or other pieces of content in the time it takes to write just one, using data. I think I'm coming down with a virus. Oh, well, you feel bad, huh? <laughs> I was messing around with you. You were talking to a computer. I felt like I was talking to you. It's amazing. The full disclosure comes up and we're like, I just want to watch The Real Housewives and I'm trying to get through it and you just click through it and no one reads it. continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Killer Robots Researchers are building weapons that can select and fire on targets without human intervention. Lethal Autonomous Weapon Systems, or LAWS, have been described as the third revolution in warfare after gunpowder and nuclear arms. Counting the late Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Google's Demis Hassabis, and Apple's Steve Wozniak among its supporters, the campaign to stop killer robots has urged the UN to outlaw them, without success. The prospect of robot takeover is frightening enough, but a world where humans can release sleepless, super-intelligent machines against other humans is arguably just as terrifying. Well, then I guess we're gonna miss the good old days. What good old days? When people were killed by other people. Do you agree with our picks? 
Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.